Hi, today we are going to introduce our work on in-home daily life captioning using radio signals. I have my grandma who lives alone in my hometown in China. She's old and has a little heart disease, and she sometimes cannot get enough sleep. So every day I'm worried about her. Did she take her medication in the morning with breakfast? Did she go to bed on time and get enough sleep? Did anyone visit her? Did the nurse take care of her, etc. I can call her and ask, "Grandma, how you doing?" But my grandma doesn't want me to worry about her and always tell me that she's fine. What I want is a system that can capture the main events in my grandma's home and send them to my cell phone or laptop. For example, at 8:30 a.m., grandma wakes up and leaves bedroom. At 10:30 a.m., grandma takes medicine and eats breakfast. At 2 p.m., grandma is watching TV. In this way, I can easily read them and know that things are all fine, or I may need to remind her to take her medicine. One way to do it is I can put a camera in my grandma's home and use existing camera-based event capturing methods to capture my grandma's daily life. But most likely, she will not agree with it because putting a camera in her home can be a strong invasion to her privacy. So, how can we do daily life captioning without using cameras? Here's an idea. Instead of using cameras, we can use radio frequency signals to capture my grandma's daily life. Let me explain why it's possible. Radio frequency signals can actually capture people's activities, but they are hard to be interpreted by human. For example, here on the right, you can't just look at the signal and see the person. However, the signal itself actually has enough information about the fact that a person entered the room and took off his jacket. So, can we extract this information using neural network from the signal and provide captioning text of the activities that went around? This is exactly what we want to do, but there are challenges for that. The first challenge is that RF signals cannot capture objects. More specifically, RF signals will traverse through most of the furniture while reflect off human body. However, an important part of my grandma's daily life is her interactions with objects. For example, understanding whether she opens a fridge or opens a medication cabinet, or whether she sits on the TV couch or on the bed, can help us understand her activities better. So, what can we do? Here's our solution. First, we are going to extract from RF signal the skeleton of the person. We know from past works that it is possible. The skeleton of the person will provide us information about the activities grandma is doing. To compensate for the lack of objects, our idea is to add a second modality. This modality is the layout of the home with the big appliances. So, in the case of my grandma, it will be a home looks like this, with her bed, the dining table, the living room. The kitchen area, etc., and all I need to do is to measure the floor map only once in her home and use for a long time, since most of these appliances are static, so it's easy to generate. Now, what we are also going to do is to connect the skeleton with this floor map because the model needs to know where the skeleton is with respect to the floor map. Here, we leverage the fact that RF signals have information about the location of the person in the home. So we can take the skeleton and figure out where it is in the home. Therefore, instead of representing the floor map in a static representation, we change to a dynamic representation, which is the floor map from the view of my skeleton at any point in time. And now I have a powerful representation of the person, his location in the home, and his view of the floor map around him. That will be the input of our system. So that's for the first challenge. Now the second challenge is that we know that deep learning requires a lot of training data, but there is no existing RF captioning dataset, and it is very hard to collect data like this because I have to go to so many homes, deploy RF devices in these homes, and collect floor maps and ground truths for events in all these homes. So instead of collecting a large dataset by myself, can I leverage the existing large RGB datasets for captioning? To reduce the amount of data we need from the RF modality, here I show how we do it. 
We use this multimodal feature alignment framework to distill knowledge from existing video-based captioning datasets to our RF diary. Instead of collecting a huge RF captioning dataset, we collect a small dataset where we record both videos and RF from people performing activities at home at the same time. We first extract features from RF signals and floor maps. Then, we extract the features from the corresponding video using a video encoder. Since this video and RF correspond to the exact same event, we can use LTO loss to align the features from paired video and RF to be consistent with each other, therefore transfer the knowledge from RGB to RF in this small dataset. We also extract features from the videos of existing large video capturing datasets. However, existing video datasets don't have synchronized RF signal, so we cannot directly use the L2 norm for alignment. To solve this problem, we align our dataset and existing video captioning datasets by making the feature distributions from these datasets similar. We achieve this goal by applying discriminators on different layers of video features that enforces the video encoder to generate indistinguishable features given videos from different datasets. Since the features from the videos of our dataset are also aligned with the RF features, this strategy effectively aligns the feature distribution of the existing video dataset with the feature distribution of RF and successfully distills the knowledge. By addressing these two challenges, we design a large neural network model that integrates these methods and combines them in an effective way for daily life captioning. I'm not talking about the detail of the network here. It is in our paper, and you can look at it if interested. However, now I'm going to show you some results. Let me show you the first qualitative results. Here in the left is the RF signals and floor map, which is the input to our model. Here on the top right is the corresponding RGB videos, so you guys can see what is happening. Let's see the model's output. It says, a person enters the kitchen. He takes off his clothes sits at table and starts playing laptop, which captures the main activities the person is doing. Let's take another case that typically fails with camera when the person is in the dark. Here the model is outputting, a person walks to the kitchen, he then pours water into a cup and drinks from it. And indeed, this is what happens, although from the RGB perspective, it is totally dark and not interpretable. I just showed you some qualitative results, but actually our RF diary is quite powerful and it can achieve comparable results to video-based captioning methods. As you can see in this table, RF diary can have similar accuracy as RGB-based captioning under visible scenarios, while keeps working in dark or occluded scenarios where the RGB-based methods will totally fail. So let me summarize. RF Diary is a new way that enables us to caption people's daily life in their home. It addresses the privacy issues brought by deploying cameras at home and achieves high accuracy comparing to camera-based methods. It also works in scenarios where camera-based methods typically fail, such as poor lighting or occlusions. Thank you for listening. If you are interested in more information, you can visit our webpage or directly come to our poster session.